So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what my electrical system is going to be like. Uh, so I drew out a little something. I'm not an artist by any means, but uh, this should give you guys a basic plan of what I'm doing. Uh, so I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, basically right here, you're just seeing the main plug. So from here, it's just going to be a NOCO outlet that I'm going to be able to put in and a normal extension cord from any power source outside the camper to plug right into there. So attached to the NOCO plug will be a GFI protected outlet. So it's going to be split into three outlets. And from there, there'll be one of the wires going to the outside kitchen and one going to a power bar for the inside. And then the third one will go to charging the AC200. On the roof, I'm going to have some Renogy panels. Uh, they'll be 100 watt panels. The diagram has four. It was my original intent and they fit properly on the roof. It's just a little heavy for my liking right now so I don't know how many I'm going to go with. I also have the wire coming for the AC200 that's going to allow me to hook up to a 12 volt system uh, so I can run all sorts of 12 volt appliances from there. So I'm going to have that hooked up to a 12 way fuse block and then that will control all of my 12 volt loads. So that's the system that I'd be using if I've got a power source coming from outside the trailer. If I'm going somewhere and I'm boondocking and I have no power source, uh, then I could just complete the circuit through the AC200 to operate all my 110 and then it would still operate my 12 volt and recharge from the solar panels. So that was it, pretty simple. I just wanted something that I could fix any of the broken parts by going to the local hardware store. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on how to make it even easier, I'm all ears. Just leave a comment. I'll leave a link in the description for where I keep all the plans. And thanks again for watching.